We're heading to the town of Amasia, which is about an hour and a half's drive away, I think. Um, because apparently they've got some really cool stuff in that town and it's a good stopping point as we head uh, east towards the town of Rize. Sun is shining, it's another beautiful day and uh, I've already had a coffee so let's hit the road. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018 we quit the 9 to 5, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Right, see so if she starts without pumping. Wow, amazing, I love Trudy. Okay, flight time today is one hour and 21 minutes. Stick back, relax, and enjoy the flight. And the okay, so in half a mile, you need to keep right to Merzifon Suloyoyo Yolu Suliova. <laughs> Your Turkish Tia, is right. Don't just laugh. Right. Right. That right. You mean my side? <laughs> yes, your side. I can't see anything. Um, go go forward. forward. Stop, stop, stop. So we've arrived at this car park, but for some reason the barrier's not opening. Maybe it doesn't read our number plate because it's English, I think. I think it's because it I think it's because we got too close you got, got too, too close. close. <laughs> the <chicoule. laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, nope, it's still not working. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so we've parked up in the town of Amasya, and I think we're pr pronouncing that correctly. And the first thing we want to do is go and find some local food because we're a little bit hungry. We haven't had breakfast this morning. And uh, I'm really excited to be looking around this town. It looks absolutely amazing. Riverview. So we've come down to a restaurant called Amasia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Literally just over the bridge and right on the river. And uh, it looks like it's got good traditional local food. So the restaurant's actually in one of the old Ottoman houses. And there's the most wonderful views out of the window here over the river. How amazing is that? share all the funny bits of our travels too and we have another Google Translate <laughs> epic moment. Um, we've ordered three local dishes, small local dishes and then I said does it come with something um, as in point, you know, pointing at the rice or is there bread or something with it 
and um, the guy said something in Turkish, so I pointed, I pushed it, and it said, it comes with me. Mm. So Google Translate, you will never understand the irony of the comedy, <laughs> but yeah, that was another moment that tickled us. I think he was obviously just saying that he brings the food. He brings the food. We don't need to go and collect it. With all the coronavirus problems at the moment, it's nice from a hygienic point of view that everything's wrapped, but it's so bad, isn't it? You know, after all these times, everybody makes an effort and yeah. then, you know, the bread isn't loose because of contamination. They're all individually wrapped. And it's great to see them making an effort, but so sad for the environment that we all have to eat so much, use so much plastic. Oh, wow. Wow, it's huge. Tasty couleur. But Lally Dolma is the first one we're going to try and it's grape leaves stuffed with horse beans and it's got, um, it's cooked with rib meat as well and served with the yogurt and it's all wrapped up in these beautiful grape leaves. Okay. Oh, it smells lovely. Mmm, that's delicious. Wheat, you can taste the vine leaves and the yogurt just goes so well. Some herbs in there. So the next dish we're gonna try is called keshkek. Boiled and mashed wheat, veal and chickpeas and it's cooked in a casserole with some water and it's kept in a local oven overnight until the next morning. Very meaty stew, it's like a stew. Meat, you can taste the veal. The last one is etli bamya and it's okra with meat. Um, it's dried or fresh okra and it says here they've taken all the hairy bits out and the thorny bits and it's then they add meat which is either lamb or veal afterwards. Oh look, are they baby okra? Yeah. Oh that's delicious. That's really rich that you can taste all the tomatoes and oh that's really nice, I like that one. Favourite one. That's my favourite one so far. So how happy are we that we chose to stop in Amasya, uh, this wonderful town on the river here on our way to Rize. It's beautiful. And there's some very interesting facts about Amasya. In this town, there's also been a lot of famous people born here. Footballers, basketball players, philosophers. In fact, they've even had a few sultans born here. The young Ottoman princes were sent here to do their trainings. And what's amazing is they have all the old Ottoman buildings all the way down the river here. And this is the one we just had lunch in. And they have these wonderful tombs that are carved out in the side of the cliff face here. So it's the former royal palace and the tombs of the kings of Pontus. And in fact, in these cliff faces, there's a total of 18 tombs. So it's lovely to come and walk along the river here and then soak up the atmosphere. Um, especially as we've still got a long drive ahead of us uh, towards Rize and uh, it's just such a lovely place. Isn't it? The views are amazing. The views on this river have to be seen. So 
So one of the things this town is famous for is its apples. They have very small, sweet and delicious apples. So Marianne's gonna buy a couple for us to try. They're little. There you go. Okay, we're off. So we're heading to the Black Sea coast. Uh, we had a great time walking around Masra, and now uh, we're hitting the road again for a few more hours. So just in case you're wondering how far we have driven, we've just driven past a signpost that says Istanbul 655 kilometers. <laughs> and if you want to track us, check out Polar Steps. Yeah, it's a free app to download. We're not sponsored, but if you look at Polar Steps, um, search Tread the Globe, you'll be able to track our live location. One thing I love about Turkey is the patriotism and uh, everywhere you go you see these wonderful flags and this one is absolutely huge and looks so cool flapping in the wind. This might seem an unusual thing to say when you're from England, but there's clouds. We haven't seen proper clouds for months. And uh, up in the mountains, this area is known for having rains and being a bit cooler, which is why we're doing it in the summer. It's funny because normally when I try and do a time lapse or something, there has to be some kind of movement. But if there's no clouds or cars or people moving in the scenery, then it just looks the same shot, which is what we've been having. So uh, that Cappadocia, there weren't any clouds. No, I was going to do time lapses over all the valleys and stuff, and there was no movement. Uh, no balloons, no clouds, no nothing. <laughs> so yeah, we're quite excited to see clouds. arrived at the Black Sea. You can see the Black Sea all the way along here on the left. The last time we saw the Black Sea was uh, when we were in Bulgaria just before we crossed over, way before all the crazy times started. So we found a car park in the town of <laughs> Unye. Unye. Somewhere between uh, Samson and Ordu on the Black Sea and you can actually see the sea there. Um, so yeah we're going to park up here for the night and uh, we're just going to have a little walk around and just see what there is here. Oh it's been a long day isn't it? But we found parking with the dog. We found parking. Comes with the free dog. <laughs> And it's staying out of the van, isn't it, Marianne? Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a little nosy around and see what we can find. It's a nice little walk along the sea. They've got little restaurants dotted along. It's nice. The Black Sea. There you go. It's very big. So just for any confusion, this is where we are. The big shopping center. So we've come down to this lovely little restaurant, literally right by the sea. And the first challenge is to work out what the menu says. 
I literally love Google, love Google Translate. Is it working? Perfectly. So we think we've ordered two chicken dishes with garlic and tomatoes and a bit of a special sauce. And Marianne thinks she's ordered. <laughs> no, she knows. Look, she's looking all confident. Chicken with cheese. There's cheese involved. I love Google Translate. You never actually really know what you're going to get. <laughs> so we got the, what was that called? Tomato, some pickled veg. That's Esme. Esme, pickled veg, some bread. How good does that look? And that one. It's looking good. Yeah, and it's actually cooled down, which is lovely. It is nice and cool it's here, really isn't it? Really lovely. It's a grey day. I think it's the first grey day we've had. Isn't that nice? It's so much cooler. When we stayed in Gareme in Cappadocia, there was a lovely family, Sam and Andy and their kids that were parked up next to us in the campsite. And they uh, messaged us. When we left, we left one of our plates and we only have two plates on board. Um, Marianne took some food up to the family and left the plate there. So they are coincidentally on the Black Sea literally i don't know an hour or so down the coast from where we are so we've been messaging and they are actually on their way this morning to bring us the plate to have a catch up and we think we'll probably go back to the restaurant we had dinner last night for a bit of breakfast because the food was so good so in the meantime i'm just editing the next video and uh, we will see you in a bit i just saw a big motorhome pulling up it's them! It's our crazy English friends! Ah! So the guys are just parking up and then uh, we'll catch up over a bit of brekkie. So something Turkey does really well is breakfast and we're all a little bit hungry. <laughs> so check this out. <laughs> How can we not resist coming for a breakfast like that? What do you reckon kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! The missing plate! <laughs> Thank you very much! Absolute pleasure! <laughs> all the way special delivery from Cappadocia <laughs> Hi guys! That was a fabulous day chilling out uh, by the coast there with those guys. And we're heading along the coast now to Rize. It's about four hours drive, four and a half hours drive. Um, and uh, we're keen to get there to enjoy uh, the mountains. The weather forecast apparently is good. And uh, yeah, can't wait to show you that part of Turkey, the tea growing region. After a five and a half hour drive, we have arrived just south of Rize. And uh, we pulled off to this restaurant here that you can see behind me called Elit. And uh, actually we parked down the road and we said, is it all right to, if we had something to eat that we could park up for the night? They said, yes. We went and picked up Trudy, came back and they saw Trudy and they were there like, we saw you on show TV. So yeah, so we're gonna stay the night here, go and grab a drink and something to eat uh, before we start exploring this area. Does that mean that Trudy's one of the most famous fans in Turkey? I think she is for sure, definitely. Nobody recognizes us, <laughs> it's always Trudy, <laughs> woo! Rabba! <laughs> Has she got the temperature? Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Wow, look at this! So this region of Turkey is actually famous for tea growing, or chai as they say in Turkish. And we've just spotted our first ever 
tea growing that you can see on the hill behind us. It's a really lovely area. How good does this look? Spices, cucumber, mint yogurt, some more spicy, aubergine and some bread. What do you reckon, love? I love <laughs> the meze that comes with the food. It's so fresh and delicious. Check these breads out, how puffy. They've got air pockets, they're so hot. Look. It's like a little naan bread. Pitta. Wow. Wow, look at that. Sizzling. Superb. Good morning. Good morning. Marianne's found another friend. Have you come to say hi? Have <laughs> you come to say hi? Wowzers, what a lovely warm welcome we received from this restaurant behind us, Elit Restaurant. Uh, we pitched up a couple of days ago. We've taken the opportunity um, to hang out here, eat some lovely food, uh, meet some just amazing welcoming people um, and do some research on what we're going to see mm. out in Rize. Absolutely. Last night we had dinner in the restaurant and tried a lovely stew and a kebab. Oh, it was absolutely delicious. And the guys from the restaurant have been making us feel so welcome. It's so, just so nice. And they let us park up here for the night. So today we are planning to head into the mountains and start exploring this area. But before we do, they've invited us in for breakfast and you know us in Turkish breakfast. How can we say no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah. It's true, you're gonna start. Amazing. Good evening. Bye. That was an absolutely amazing breakfast. We've just said goodbye to the guys at the restaurant, and we will definitely pop in and see them on the way uh, back along the Black Sea coast in a few days after we've been to the mountains because they were just so lovely. So so lovely. So, up into the mountains, uh, just north of Rize we go. Before we hit back to Trudy and get driving some more. Is that what I said? Okay, cut that one. When we stayed in Goreme in Cappadocia, there was a lovely family uh, there's a fly on my screen. Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it just... That was so funny, you just... Oh, got it. I got it. I'm just going to pick some apples. Okay. Oh, you're still there. That's it. It is the end of the show. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more of our crazy adventures, then make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.